when you're looking like that. I like it when you shit, chat, shit. I like it when you're looking like that. Here you have in front of me the Wexford Arms. It's located on Upper John Street. You can see right where we're located from the uh, the church, Rose Street Church, which is not too far. And there's our next stop right ahead is Jim McGee's. So we're going to be going there. So this is what it looks on the outside, uh, Wexford Arms. It's a it's about a th two three minute walk from Casey's, which is on Hill Street at the top, where this intersection meets. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna see if I poke my head in and see if they allow me to look around and show you what it looks like. Okay, so when you walk into uh, Western Arms, you have a fireplace hook, there's some seats here. And then you have some seats around here, the bar's right here. You're watching a uh, game of snooker. I've just ordered myself a pint of Guinness. Um, let's see what's right here. And here's another part of the bar where they have pool tables and another bar and I like the way that the, uh, the seats are the wooden seats and there's another fireplace and then you go out the back I think to the smoking section so if you want to have a few game of pool here and head out you can always join it so I'm going to enjoy myself a pint of Guinness at Wexford Arms and then we'll head off so there's my Guinness pint of Guinness here at the Wexford Arms cost five euros so let's give her a shot. Slancha. Very good. Thumbs up. Okay, right in front of me, you have Jim McGee's Pub. It's located just after the crossroad of uh, Georgia Street and Upper John Street. And it's right near John's Gate Street. And if you look at this uh, wall here, when I took the uh, the haunted tour with uh, Paul Walsh, we stopped in there for a bit. So what we're, this one is also, uh, they have uh, guest accommodation and there's also rooms in the back. They have lovely little chalets in the back as well. So what I'm gonna try to do, first of all, take a little thumbnail and we're gonna see if we can get into Jim McGee's and see if he minds showing us around and see what it's like inside Jim McGee's. Okay, this is Jimmy McGee's pub. We're gonna go inside. We're gonna take a look. So you can see on the, they have a fireplace there in the corner. There's the golf going on. You have uh, decorations throughout. And there's a nice little snug out of the way here in the corner with a couch. And then you have the picture of your man, uh, John Murphy there. And then on the other side, when you come in on the right, so Jim McGee's photo. And then you have the Wexford Hurlers on the top. Like I said, a lot of advertising around. And then if you go that way, it goes to the back bar and the toilets. We'll go there next. And then here's the second bar. I've ordered a pint of Guinness, so that'll be coming shortly. Just look at the advert, the photos and the nostalgic pictures all around. Cigarette machine there. And then we'll go into the next part of the bar. And you see all sorts of decorations and whatnot. And we'll go in the back part, and then here's where they have the pool table. Huh? It's a GoPro. It's a camera. I'm doing a vlog. I have a YouTube channel. And is I've done all the pubs in the town. And it's just like easy. So. What's that? Do you want it? I love it. I'll hide your face there if you want. I'll hide your face if you want to. Okay. And then out here, if you go outside here, you go to the smoking area. There's another smoking area. And it goes up here. Here's some nice little, look, it's a beautiful place here. It's all enclosed in. 
you know you can see the rain coming in so it would be ideal on a day like today to sit out here have a pint up here so if it's an overflow too if the pub's really busy you come out here and then it goes to the back area here and you'll see it goes into where the car park is and then they have the flats and the apartments see those are all part of the McGee's they're all rented out there and then on the side part it'll have you see the uh, the mural on the side and we'll go in back into the front door and that shows you basically what it's like there's the advertising on the side by the car park you're right beside trainers and there's John Gate Street so here you have you get a stout these and there's the grave there so if you take the walks of town you'll see that in there And there's a guest accommodation here, which here's the entrance to it. So it's right beside the door for the pub. And now we'll go back inside and capture on the Guinness. Okay, here's the pint of Guinness. Just to let you know, the pint of Guinness at McGee's is a fiver. So they haven't jacked it up to the 520, the 530s or 540s. Some places have it, so slancha. Very good. I'll enjoy that. You are my powers, I will show you where they go. You like the wind, I'll tell you where it goes. Clean as you go, clean as you go. As you go, yeah. You need my energy, I'll show you where to go. You want the rivers, let me show you where they flow. Clean as you go, clean as you go, clean as you go. The highest building in your town. Where's my trees? I don't. Okay, so as you walk down John's Gate Street, which is not far from Jimmy McGee's, you come up to the library, the Wexford Library, which is right here, right beside, there's a nice mural on the side of the wall. And then there you have Mary's Bar. Mary's Bar, it's open seven days a week, but it only opens up after seven o'clock at night. And it's steeped with history. So if you're coming to Wexford Town, definitely make it a stop. It's a very, shall we say, bar of character. Really interesting. It has very strong Republican ties. And then you say the bar open 7 p.m. 7 p.m. So I guess they're opening up at 7 p.m. But it's very interesting. So if you do come to Wexford Town, make it one of your stops as well. Like I said, there's 25 pubs right in around the area that we're gonna go take a look at. I'll show you the outsides and that, um, some of the insides of some, and make sure you stop, spend a few weeks here even. Now, we come down to right where the art center is. The art center, we've been in there for the, uh, the haunted tour. Just stopped at the outside. And now we're coming down to another pub. I'm going to show you just the outside on. It's the Thomas More Tavern. Now, it's been renovated and it's all high, you know, great food. All this interesting stuff. They made this monstrosity here, which a lot of people don't like. They built that during the pandemic time and then they made it permanent. So it is a contentious issue with locals. Um, but it is a nice pub, a nice tavern, has great food, has a nice restaurant, the Spires it's called. Um, but like I said, um, it used to be a nice old tradition pub. Well, like I said, when I first moved here, it was bought over 
roughly right around after. So I actually never been into the old uh, Thomas More Tavern because it wasn't around when I was here because it was closed up and they were renovating it. But it, you know, if you want to come and have some nice food, nice beer, meet in a nice location, and it's not too far from the bow ring, and it's right beside White's Hotel, you can see the background of White's behind me, um, you know, it is an option for you. I guess there's some tons more that we're going to be going to see. I'm going to spend a lot of time on uh, Saturday. We're going to be going around and showing them up. So I'm going to use my time now to show you some other ones that are off the beaten path, maybe. And here we are in the, the, bow, the bow ring. And there's Mackins, but I'm going to be showing you that on Saturday. Hello, everyone. It's Saturday. The end of April and I'm standing outside here right in front of the pike man and for those of you that watched my uh, Wexford town vlog you can see uh, the details and the history of what goes down in the bow ring here another interesting fact in this area right behind me is the Cape bar otherwise known as the undertakers or you know Mackins con Mackins uh, we have in the afternoon you'll see I'm gonna come back here later on and you see all these chairs set up they'll be filled as well because inside the pub it's a rather small one inside but it's very historic everyone that comes to Wexford town usually will come in and spend some time in Mackins especially during the Six Nations and all that it's uh, basically it's a small little L shape now there is upstairs it's converted to uh, uh, an events thing so sometimes they have shows I was there and I saw um, John Spillane play there there's a few um, comedians and stuff like that so Mackins is a very very important spot and it goes back to the history to 1798 as well so it's always very important to make sure that when you're in Wexford to stop by into Eddie Mackins Powers, I will show you where they go. You like the wind, I'll tell you where it goes. Clean as you go, clean as you go, clean as you go. You need my energy, I'll show you where to go. You want the rivers, let me show you. Where's my trees? I don't see them around here no You wanna more. go to Mars, but the soil is full of mercury Keep my water clean, free from BBC How many pieces of plastic in the Tennessee River? I hope this makes you see things clearer Okay, as we walk back towards... Mackins. Remember I said I would come back in the afternoon and then I'll show you what it looks like with the, uh, the beer gun. So it was a tiny little pub itself but you see the chairs and the, the tables all set up and it's right in located right by the uh, the pike gun and the bar is full itself and everyone's watching the rugby. So it's a very popular place in Wexford town right in the bow ring. Okay so we're on the Crescent Quay there's the ships behind me, the Main Street near Southeast Radio, and then here's Dixie Barrett's. It's uh, accommodation, rooms, and drinks. It's located right in the key, right beside the little uh, Fun Palace Casino, uh, automated casino. So now we're going to pop my head in there, see if we can get in, and see what it's like. Okay, so here's the door when you come in. And there's the old telly on. Most of the pubs have the telly. And then you see what it looks like in the back room, in the bar. There's two old servers sitting there with the sailor in the middle. 
right by the crescent and then the fire. All the pubs in Ireland usually have fireplaces. And it's decorated. There's the old pound notes. Which have been replaced by the good old Euro. And then and then out back here should be where the smoking area is in the bathrooms. So here's the bathrooms, the ladies, the gents. Here's the Rustler Harbors map. It's very interesting, gents. And I think this goes up to the back room. So they're renovating there. So that's not in use. So, Dixie Barracks on the key. There's accommodations here as well. And. That's what it looks like. So if you're on the key, if you fancy a pint, just come on in. All right. Thanks a lot.